So honestly, with this new map coming out, the Rocky Mountains map, I cannot believe that we're getting more than three of the animals that we've been wanting for a long time. One of them was the bighorn sheep. We've been asking for the bighorn sheep for probably, I would say actually longer than the turkeys, honestly. I mean, the turkeys became more popular over time, but we want a bighorn sheep for a long time, especially once uh, Quattro Colinas came out. Then we want a bighorn. We had the Mouflon, but now we have the Rocky Mountain map and we actually are getting bighorn sheep. I had no clue that these were coming to this map and it's going to be pretty awesome to find a huge ram, especially with those big old curls. And then heading out to the mountains for some bighorn sheep. Maybe find a couple of big old rams out there. Who knows? Maybe we'll even find a diamond bighorn sheep. That would be pretty incredible, don't you think? And obviously the turkey, which probably, well, they're definitely number one or number two in the most wanted species for Call of the Wild. Man, I can't wait to head out to the blind in a nice dark early morning, put out a couple of decoys, start calling, and have one of those monster gobblers coming in, full strut, goblin right next to us, try and take one down with the bow. Smoked him. Man, that sounds so cool. It's going to be pretty awesome. I honestly didn't think that mule deer were going to come to this map and I am really glad that they are going to come to this map but also hopefully they do something with the antlers. I'm really looking forward to seeing if they're actually going to adjust the antlers on the mule deer so we can actually hunt them and be excited when we see a big muley buck. That's kind of a giant stag right there. It's a 70. He's 150 out but there's also a couple more stags with him. So I'd really like to take him down and hopefully we'll be able to find this big old mythical that's with him as well. He's tucked into a little bit of grass, but I think we should have smoked him. That does in fact look like it was a solid hit and he's down right over here. I didn't see the mythical just yet, but we'll have to come back here another time. Oh, hold up, hold up. We just jumped a bunch of red deer up that ran. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. I knew he was close. He actually winded us. We could have probably taken him. Mm, not going to take it through the brush. Nope. Hey, let's grab him. That's going to score 209. Double lunged him at 150. A really sweet looking rack on that stag right there. I think we'll actually save him. He has a big nine legendary rack on the one side. And I think that's actually like a seven on the other side there. He's only a seven very hard, but that's a big boy. Big old gold. You know, a lot of us were actually thinking that the turkeys were possibly going to come out to Leighton Lakes and eventually maybe they'll add some grouse or pheasants out here. But apparently that was not the case because we're going to have a Rocky Mountain map now. And honestly, what we have to do is grab this tripod, which I have setting out right here. And I want to head back to Parque Fernando and try and get that big old mythical. But that's a really nice white tail buck out there at about 280. And we're going to take him down with the M1. Uh, I think we got a hard shot. It looked good. I don't know. It was a pretty good ways out and I was holding for kind of like the top of the heart, but I guess it dropped in there nicely. Yeah, a very nice white tail buck indeed. He's going to score 257. Ended up making a 274 yard double lung heart shot on that buck. That actually is a really cool looking rack. I love how it has a ton of mass and just a bunch of points. They're not like super tall. But mainly it just has a ton of points and a ton of mass. And let's grab our tripod real quick. We'll head back over to Parque Fernando and see if we can't find that massive stag. 
Welcome back to the forest of Parque Fernando, and I think that might be our guy right there. It certainly is. He's about 290 yards away, but that's also another huge dag right there as well. That's why we have the tripod set up here so we can hopefully take down both of these without ruining too much hunting pressure. Um, but right now, we definitely have a shot at this huge mythical. Not quite a shot at this huge seven, though. But you know what? If we take the mythical, the seven might trot out this way, and we might be able to get him as well. That's him there. Oh boy. All right. Look good. And that actually was a solid hit. We got a solid hit on our seven. Whoa. Definitely took one down. So the myth goes down. I think the seven, we might have hit him in the shoulder blade. So I honestly don't know if it will take it down or not. But yeah, I really want to get out there and hunt some bighorn sheep as soon as the new map comes out. The Silver Peaks, I think it's called, something like that. Um, and then I want to get out there and hunt some turkey, of course, with the bow. And I think we're going to be getting another weapon in the game as well. I don't know if we're getting a shotgun or a rifle or what, but hopefully we'll find out sooner or later. You know, that's probably why our red deer were so spookish. We got a puma out there at about 290. I think we're going to take a shot on this puma just because... Ooh, that looked good. Is that another puma? <laughs> we got another puma out there. Oh, that should have been a good hit as well. Yeah, that one piled up. And that one piled up. Nice. So hopefully one of those might be decent. Either way, now the Redger can actually drink in peace. But before we go pick up these stags, well, hopefully we have a couple of them down, I'm gonna show you where we're at. And it's actually this little kind of lake, like right dead center in the middle of the map. So this is where you start off at here. Just go straight south. You'll find this little lake here and then this one right here. I've gone here for mule deer before, but I've never gone here for red deer. So basically we came here at five o'clock in the morning. I have a tent set up right here and just wait about five game minutes, run over to this point right about here. And it seems like right here is loaded with red deer. Uh, this is from 5 until 9.30. I've done this on multiplayer two times and almost the exact same thing happened. Big mythical and some huge sevens in the same exact spot. And I think there's about 20, 25 red deer here as well. Uh, well, we're not going to pass up this guy. That's another puma out there at about 280. And because we want more red deer to come back, we're going to take down this puma as well. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Whew, that felt really good. I don't know. Watch him. Yes, he's down. <laughs> oh, that was a tough shot. Even for me, I could barely see it. It was right behind that branch and I kind of knew where he was. So I just instinctively took a shot. I think it hit right where we wanted it to. So let's go over and go see how we did. I think we have three Pumas down and possibly two nice stags. Well, I think we're gonna start with these Puma here. We have three of them down, so we'll grab this one first. I don't even know what they all were. That was a seven very hard gold, 305 yard right lung. So that's kind of cool. We had no clue what it even was and it ended up being a nice seven. Looks like we have a couple of nice vital hits right there. We'll grab this one. That was only a female double lung at 287. That I believe is where our seven Red Deer was standing right here. So I guess we'll track down this seven real quick because he, uh, I think he ran. Oh no, he ran this way. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's where our mythical is standing. That's where our seven ran off to this way. Well, I think this is a track from our mythical as well. So they both might be side by side. In fact, they are side by side. This right here is our seven. And that was actually a 192 yard, hit the shoulder blade and the right lung at 290. That is an awesome looking stag right there. So that was actually the second one, big old gold stag. And honestly, I kind of want to save this one. But this guy here should be our absolute giant mythical that we should have smoked him. But let's find out how we did. Only got a single lung at 296 and just barely missed the heart there. You can see we clipped the uh, front shoulder, but that front shoulder caused us from not getting enough penetration to be able to hit double lung at 296, but that's a 218 gold mythical stag. 
I absolutely love this rack. This rack right here so much reminds me of the OG diamond red deer rack right here. And yeah, I definitely want to get this mounted as well. I just love the length of the brown tines on this thing and even the tines, like whatever the G3 is, I guess it is here. And even the crowns on top, this right here is kind of the epitome of a perfect giant red deer stag. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to have this guy. I mean, all I really have to do is talk about turkeys in this new map, and I find something that I've been wanting for since they came out. We found a dime potential true rack red deer stag out here at about 390 yards out, and uh, I really want to get this guy. So I've came here several times at night, and for some reason I never came here in the morning. I honestly don't know why, but now I know. <laughs> we gotta start doing that more often. That stag should score 252. I believe that should be a diamond. I got to check back on our last video to see what diamond actually is because I haven't even seen anything close to it. But yeah, that potentially could make diamond. Okay, so here's kind of what we're doing. We're working our way around this lake here and the wind is blowing kind of this direction here. So if we go all the way around to this kind of uh, little crater here, we should be able to have a decent wind once we get to this point here and try and call on that stag somewhere around here. Well, we managed to sneak all the way around to the backside here and there's the six right there. Now we just gotta find the nine. He's gotta be somewhere nearby. I haven't seen him yet, but like I said, he's gotta be somewhere nearby. What we could do is put out a call and of course that could bring him in but I would like to at least see him somewhere first. That way the six doesn't come in before him. But I guess we'll call and see what happens. Oh, the six is definitely interested. All right, let's watch. Oh, that might be him. He might be closer than what I thought. Oh my God, I didn't know he was that close. But the six is coming in. The six is coming in, but... Oh, is that the nine? That's a six. A different six? Oh, man. Got two sixes and a female. Where is the nine? Unless that's him. I don't see any sign of him. Yeah, we still have... Still have a decent wind here. But where is that nine? Oh my god, there he is. There he is, there he is. This is set up perfect, guys. Look at that. Here he comes. He's coming in right behind this tree. Oh, hold up. We gotta get cover. We gotta stay in cover. That's him. That's him right there. 50 yards away. We gotta stay in full cover, though. That's him right there. 33 yards away. I just would like to be able to see him a little bit better for you guys But we'll see what happens here Wow I can't believe he's so close Okay, if we go prone, we could probably see him a little bit better there now you can see him That's him right there. He's only 26 yards away. We have a perfect wind. We have a really good spot here with some good cover now let's get ready and take down this beast of a stag. Oh, hold up. He's changing his mind here. He doesn't know what he wants to do. He's kind of stopped right behind that brush. If I could see him, I would take it. Yeah, that's why I thought he's in that brush. Put out a little call. Oh, oh, oh hold up, hold up, hold up. Here he comes. Oh, look at that. Can't risk taking a bad shot. He smoked. Oh, that was perfect. Had an awesome little pocket right there. Tucked it right in there. And he smoked. Whew. I honestly thought we might have lost them because we had the six there and then we had the medium right there and we had that female but there's good blood right there and there lays our giant nine legendary stag.
and potentially he could be our first ever yes he's a diamond 252 diamond red deer first one ever first true rack diamond oh that is so cool that is a sick looking rack too oh man that is so awesome i absolutely love this rack oh man i'm so happy right now let's take a look at that shot 22 yards away and tucked it right above the heart there double lunged him at 22 yards away and hit the shoulder too look at that we hit shoulder and double lung he was slightly quartering at us a little bit but man a 252 diamond true rack red deer that i've been wanting for a long time now and look at the crowns on top of that thing look at all the stickers on like this time right here let's look at the true score so we can see a little bit better um right here all three of these stickers the big crown there probably can't see it very good with this uh true score actually because he's so big but wow that's pretty sweet i am very very happy with that wow awesome awesome well i suppose let's show you where we just found that giant diamond red deer stag that we just got with the bow um well basically right here's where we just were where we got the huge mythical and a couple of sevens we're just to the south at the bosque de eva and this spot here oh you know what i just realized this is the exact same spot that i got my first ever diamond red deer og rack right here at night with the bow in this exact same spot it wasn't my map though right now we're on my own map but right here the zone is from five o'clock until nine o'clock. For some reason, I can't get that zone. It's only saying 1700 till 21, but you can see it's nine o'clock right now, 919. But we took the shot, I think at like 845, right here. So let me know how you guys feel about this new map coming out. Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? Anyways, let's take a look at our giant first ever Turek Diamond Red Deer Stag that we got with the bow at 20 yards away. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.